Welcome everyone. Today we are saying hello to Miss Maggie, Mag Prom. Mag is the Warframe that draws the enemies in with her animal magnetism or something similar to that. First off, Mag's passive ability is called Magnetic Attraction and this causes her to have a magnetic pull on pickups when bullet jumping allowing you to have the sentinel vacuum effect all on your own. So Mag's first ability, Pull, does just what it sounds like. You use magnetism to pull enemies towards you causing them to ragdoll around and become stunned. The ability deals magnetic damage, of course, to enemies that are affected by Pull. If you kill an enemy with Pull, there will be an increased chance for the enemy to drop an energy orb. Pull will affect enemies in a cone-shaped area in front of Mag as well as a small radius around her. Some enemies like bosses and ospreys will not be affected by the pulling effect, but will still take damage from the ability. Your power strength mods will increase the ability damage and the energy orb drop chance, while power range mods will of course increase the ability range. Using the augment greedy pull will also cause items to be pulled towards mag with each cast of pull. Previously, this would also pull items for allies, but was changed due to many people abusing this and doing standing still setups where Mag was used to pull all of the energy orbs in, providing all the energy for a Mesa or other Warframe dealing all the damage. Mag's second ability, Magnetize, creates a magnetic field around a targeted enemy which draws in both nearby enemies and weapon fire from both yourself, allies, and enemies. Additionally, at max rank, all incoming damage will be multiplied by 200% and will deal 25% of the total absorbed damage per second to enemies inside this bubble. This works well to deal a lot of damage to enemies inside the orb and allows the damage to scale through the enemy fire being absorbed. If the initial target enemy is killed before the duration expires, then the field will explode at the end of the duration dealing 300 AoE blast damage, increased by 200% of the total absorbed damage of the field for 15 meters around it without range mods. Unfortunately, explosion damage does decrease with range and does not bypass obstacles. Power strike mods will of course increase the damage multiplier and explosion damage. Power duration mods will increase the life of the field, while range mods will increase the field range and explosion radius. Magnetize has a 1 second cast time, but if the target dies before you complete casting, the energy used for Magnetize will then be refunded. To get the best damage amplification, it is optimal to combine Magnetize with weapons that have high punch through. Magnetize will also pull in shards created by Mag's third ability, Polarize. Polarize sends out a wave of energy similar to Nova's Molecular Prime that strips away enemy shields and armor, creating shards that will scatter around on the ground. At max rank, it will deal out 400 damage to shields and armor, which is then multiplied by 2.5 and gets stored into the shards that fall to the ground. This allows Polarize to significantly amplify the damage of Magnetize due to the shards being drawn in. If an enemy has both shields and armor, shields will have to be completely drained first before it affects the armor. Any shields that are completely drained will explode causing up to 2.5 times the amount drained as magnetic damage. Polarize will also restore the shields of allies by up to 400 if they are inside the initial casting range or touch the wave as it expands outward. Adding power strength mods will increase the damage dealt shield and armor depletion amounts, shard damage multiplier, and shield restoration amounts. Power range mods will increase the range of the initial cast and the explosion radius. However, power duration mods will increase the travel time of the pulse similar to Nova's Molecular Prime. Using the augment shield transference will allow Mag to receive overshields of up to 50% of the shields drained by the ability. Mag's fourth and final ability, Crush, lets you crush your enemies with your magnetic charm. Actually, the description is that you magnetize the bones of your enemies, causing them to collapse into themselves. At max rank, you will deal 1500 magnetic damage over 3 ticks without mods. Enemies affected by magnetize will also take an additional 
1500 damage. Damage is evenly divided into three segments over three ticks, each tick dealing one third of the total damage that are inflicted in succession over the course of the cast animation. If an enemy walks into the area of effect after the ability has been cast, they will be caught during each remaining damage tick. Power strength mods will of course increase your damage. Power range mods will affect the radius of the damage. If you use the augment fracturing crush, any enemies that survive the ability will have their armor reduced by 50% and be unable to move for 7 seconds, providing you both an armor reduction and CC element to this ability. Now, in regards to weapon synergies, the first is of course weapons with high punch through and magnetize. Using weapons with a radiation proc also will cause enemies to attack each other and by effect add their projectiles to the swarm inside the magnetized bubble thereby increasing the damage dealt. Weapons such as static ore are extremely useful at this. My current personal preference is a gas build lanka tied to mag's magnetize ability. There are of course other weapons that will work with this and some of the weapons that stand out are the miter, again the static ore, and explosive weapons such as Penta or Angstrom. There is one interesting weapon combo and that is to use the Furious with the Winds of Purity augment from New Loka. This augment adds built-in lifesteal to the Furious allowing for quick and easy health restores. Applying the Seeker mod will give you the punch through to increase your health restore even further. If you are concerned about dying too quickly using Mag, Using the Furious and Winds of Purity combo, along with Quick Thinking and Prime Flow in your build, will help to give you more time to stay alive. Okay, now let's take a look at my builds. For Mag Prime, I am currently using two builds that rely on three forma. This first build, everything is in the positive. I have focused mostly on duration and efficiency to reduce the amount of times I have to cast Magnetize and to give myself a little bit more of a CC effect by being able to control choke points with magnetized bubbles, thereby preventing enemy fire from coming in, and also being able to concentrate and group the enemies in for better effect with useful weapons such as the Lanka. My second build flip-flops things a little bit in that in this case I'm actually running a negative duration but I am still focusing on high efficiency and adding a bit more to range and strength. I have also added on this build redirection to increase my shield count. So this is a very good build to use if I'm going for maybe a longer run uh, or I am playing with a group of people that may not appreciate the longer duration of magnetized bubbles as this lets them pop within a matter of seconds. Overall, mag is a very fun frame to play and extremely effective against Corpus and since her rework is now much more effective against Grenier as well making her a pretty decent versatile frame. The only time you really run into problems with mag is of course against infested and in that case if you build your weapon correctly for it you can still combine magnetize and a very good weapon to be just as effective against the infested. Well that's it for the video today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you haven't done that already. You also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and keep up to date with all my content that I'm posting six days a week. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like about the video. If you have any recommendation for my builds or if you just want to post what your build is and share it with everybody else watching the video. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm your host Mr. Spicy and I will see you guys in the next video.